Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. Something different this time, from the folks over at Panini Collections and Centauria, we have Build Your Own Ferrari F40. Build a perfect one 8 scale replica of the iconic Ferrari F40 Competizione. This stunning model is precision engineered with die cast metal and includes sound and light effects. Build it week by week with detailed instructions, plus a magazine that chronicles the complete history of Ferrari. A must-have collector's item. The F40 Competizione at News Agents Now. Now this came out a couple of weeks ago uh, with a price point of $2.99 and issue 2 is already out now as well. I've got that down here so I'll do that in a future video. Um, that issue 2 was $8.99 so I'm guessing that's going to be the, uh, the normal price of that in the UK. Now this has already been released in Italy and I think they're on issue 50 at the moment and something different about this one is if you go to the Supercars website and I've put the link in the description down below uh, they actually do have their own build guide but uh, you know what I'm like I like doing my own build guide and I thought we'll have a little muck around and see what this f40 is really like because i really do like this car let me just show you what we got in the magazine here so this one comes on a card and as you can see seems to be a tradition that when these supercars get built we always get the fender first i don't know what that is uh, and we've got all the magazines we'll have a look at that in a minute uh, it's going to be 56 centimeters long incredible detail all metal sounds and light effects uh, it does say metal bodywork there uh, if we just turn it over it gives us a few more details in the next issue we've got the chair as you can see that, I've already seen that. It's got a nice uh, material feel to it. Um, sound and light effects on the headlights there. Realistic racing cockpit. Uh, slick tyres. Aerodynamic bodywork. I do like the way how this lifts off here. And obviously the uh, bonnet opens up. Or the boot bonnet opens up. So it exposes the engine. So we can actually see the engine in this one. Um, I can believe this is going to be a heavy, heavy car. But as you can see, it's a 1.8 scale again. Pretty much like all of these builds for these cars. And I think that's the, uh, the norm now. Now, I am aware that this was released in the US under... The Eagle Moss Diecast Club. <laughs> I don't know why uh, different publishers in different territories, uh, but I do believe it's been cancelled in the US under the Eagle Moss Diecast Club. Uh, but as I said, this is by Panini Collections here and Centauria, and uh, it looks like it's going in a full run. So uh, let's have a quick look at the magazines. So once again, we've got our thing that we can give to the news agents here, just to say, uh, can you please put this aside for me? If you don't want to do that, then you can actually subscribe to this yourself. Uh, and now we've got some free gifts on here. They've got the collector's binder, an official Ferrari baseball cap, an F40 specification display plaque. I know a lot of you do like those display plaques there. Uh, we've got a Living the Supercar Dream book. There's loads. Uh, the original carbon fiber keyring for Ferrari, and there's a display stand on 143 scale. That's for if you're a premium subscriber. So obviously you pay a little bit more and you'll be able to get a, a display stand with that as well. Uh, let's see what other things we've got. Oh, we've got a couple of these. They really do want us to subscribe by post. Uh, then we've got the book with some details about the car in here. And I don't normally go for all of these, but there's so many lovely pictures in here. Once again, just detailing all the free gifts that we've got here. And then when we actually get to the build guide, once again, we've got an inventory of exactly what we've got and then pretty straightforward how to put it together. And it does tell you what we've got coming in the next couple of issues here. So uh, you're always going to be kept abreast of where we are with this build. And the other thing we've got here is the guide to the build with the rear of the car there. And this opens up into a bit of like a concertina to tell you everything about the build that we've just talked about there. On the other side of this, it's just a few more details about the free gifts and stuff like that. So that's everything you get in this. I think before we get to work doing the bumper details on this for issue one, uh, let's tell you a little bit more about the car. The F40 Competizione is a non-sponsored, more powerful version of the F40 LM, which was the result of consumer requests following the order of a French importer who wanted to enter one in the 24 hours of Le Mans. 10 examples were built, all at a customer request, the first two being called the F40 LMs and the remaining eight being the F40 Competizione as Ferrari felt that the LM tag was too restrictive. The F40 Competizione is rated at 700 PS, 691 horsepower at 8,100 revs per minute from its upgraded twin turbocharged V8 engine. The car can reportedly achieve a top speed of around 367 kilometers per hour. So there we go, I've opened all of that up. So let's start with the first section we need. Now, once again, this is in metal, lovely paintwork on there. Uh, I am always impressed by these bumpers as soon as we get them because it does sort of detail what we're going to expect from the rest of the build here. I'll just show you that on my close-up camera there so you can see the paintwork on that. 
Now I'm still undecided whether I'm actually going to do this build. I'm going to do the first few issues, see what I think of it, because I've got so much on at the moment with builds, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Now I already can see one little problem here. If you have a look on this side here, we've got a ring over this detail here. We haven't got it on this side. So that doesn't bode well, does it? <laughs> uh, I've checked the pack and you just saw me open it. Nothing's pinged out or anything. So uh, not quite sure where that is. So then we take the grill. We're going to just place it just on the uh, section here of the hole. Just like that, keeping it lined up. And then we're going to be putting the grill cover just on top like that. So that grill now, when it's attached, is not going to go anywhere. Now this is going to be secured in with the screws. The screws are actually labelled with an A on the bags here. And you see, that's all just fallen off there. <laughs> so we'll get that put back in. Let's get the screws out ready. And this is the first screw just going in here. These are going in nice and tight. Just checking that that grill is still lined up there. Now's your chance to uh, adjust it. Put the second screw in. There we go. Looking just like that. And there we go. That's the first screw in place. Now you'll have to let me know if it's going to be an issue, me missing one of these rings. If it is, I'll get in touch with them and we'll get another one. But uh, I don't actually know what these little tiny rings are for. But uh, it is interesting that we are missing one. But uh, let's put the other grill side in here. So once again, just put the grill gently on top there. Then the cover over the top and then we'll get a screw put in to keep that all in place now i've got one in once again i'm just going to turn it over make sure that the grill is lined up to where i want it turn it back over and load up the last screw now they have gave us a spare screw so we've got some spare screws in this one make that nice and tight and let's just check that is completely on looking just like that there and there now this issue also comes with some ferrari badges here we got one and we got another one here but they're not used in this issue so we need to keep them safe so all we had to do in this one was just this section here so to be honest with you, the quality of the parts is really good. I'm just a little bit disappointed about that missing ring, which I really don't know what it's for. But uh, I'm sure you're going to tell me in the uh, comments. I think it should be around that way, actually. So I'm showing you the wrong way around. Uh, but that is issue one of the Ferrari F40. Uh, it does look impressive. And I do like the look of the finished car. Uh, personally, I would have liked to build a Testarossa, but any Ferrari is going to be pretty good in my books. So what we'll do next week, we'll do issue two, see how that comes about. Uh, I'll probably get up to issue four or five. We'll see where we are then, and then I'll decide if I'm going to continue this or not uh, it is something that i'd like to see on my shelves but uh, i'm still undecided at the moment i'm gonna test the quality of parts for the next few issues anyway listen i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care